opened up here and uh, I found this. There's not a lot, but a few metal chunks in here. Um, you can see them kind of scattered, and it's clean over here. Um, and then you can see how these are set up, and then how this is set up. I had to yank on this quite a bit to get it loose. And uh, I don't see damage, but I highly doubt there was no damage taken by it setting there like that. Um, let me pull this out here. Now, my hope is that that's not water. Nope. That's oil. Now, looking in there, I don't really see anything wrong. Let me get the flashlight on. There we go. Struggle is real. But, um, yeah. It looks pretty much like it's in good condition. But, I don't see why. I mean, I, I can get them checked or something. I'm just not sure yet. I noticed that that one's sitting a little bit higher than the rest of them are. Oh, I'm retarded. They come up and down with the <laughs> freaking lifters. I'm stupid. Wow. Freaking push rods. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that goes in after this, which that is really torn up. I might be able to save it, though. I'm just not sure, because all it's doing is pushing on stuff. So that goes in here, like that. A little piece of metal. And then this goes in there. Like that, which... It's so surprising that that came out. I guess it's from all the vibration and high speed. Because there's a clip in there, a retainer clip. You can see it kind of bent in there. Which I'll probably be able to fix that too. And the bottom of it... Is in relatively good shape. So I think that no harm was made, but I do have to get that checked because I don't really want to damage the engine further because of that. Because everybody knows that a scratch in a main bearing can cause catastrophic failure. Uh, just It just escalates very quickly, so that's why you try to keep any damage from happening at all. But yeah, that's what I found. So. I'm going to go ahead and start laying these parts out and then lay that one out with them the same way but just kind of allow me to know the way it, that was and I'm going to go get a bin so this stuff isn't getting dirty. My lovely little box, cylinder one, cylinder six, that fronts that way, cylinder one, cylinder six, just to Remind me so we don't get all mismatched because you really want to, when you're building engines, to uh, put all your parts back where they came from because if you don't, you're going to have a problem with wear because every part of an engine wears differently because it's just impossible to get every piece of metal perfect because even the size of the pores in the metal, microscopic little pores, you can't just make those all uniform. They're they're unique, every piece, so they wear in different ways. You gotta make sure of that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and before I start pulling everything out, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my wheel puller, take that off, and pull the camshaft out. So let me go get my wheel puller. It's been over three months since I've seen him. I named him Shredder. Let me clean the camera. I think it's a glare or something. Not the camera lens. Hmm. Might just be my phone screen. I'll clean it off one more. I 
I can tell because of this little lip out here uh, and this lip out here. I kept it in the corner of my yard for a period of time and I fed it lettuce and stuff and it didn't like it very much so I let him go. And he stick stuck around. I actually believe it's a female. But uh you never know. I haven't I didn't really know much back then. I don't have the time to in a video. Back then as if it was when I was 23 and I'm 44 now. <laughs> back then. Yeah, I don't sex turtles, so don't take my word for it. quieter than the older one that they had but by two decibels so I'm gonna ver go <laughs> wow I'm tripping I'm gonna go ahead and see how much pounds of torque it takes to um, turn this motor over first before I do anything else I'm gonna see how much it maxes out at let me set this thing now let me get it around the other side So this is my peak. I hear huge compression leaks everywhere. a crack. I don't know if that's a crack or what, but that doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Moving the motor around. Let me pause it and just look at it. Oops, I didn't mean to have you guys laying on the floor. Sorry about that. Um, but it maxed out at about 45 foot-pounds of torque, so I'll have that. I'll remember that. And it started to move the motor around on the stand. So I got the air compressor all built up, and I'm going to take this off now. Sometimes when you hit the pause button on this, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> all that power. It's not as powerful as it used to be, though, because... It's, uh, I don't know, it's Harbor Freight. It's a socket. You can hear that wiggle. It wasn't that bad when I got it. This is not something that I recommend doing. It is extremely bad on your wheel puller set, but... Got that mug off of there. Now, let me untrue. One of many tools that you need to have is an auto mechanic. If you're ever wanting to get
get into that business. It's the cheapest one I could find, actually. Probably not the cheapest one out there, the cheapest one I could find. Harbor Freight, I'll put a link in the description. I like how the hatches actually stay closed, unlike the uh, little stupid uh, hatches on the tap and die kits, which I'm probably going to need to use those a lot on this motor. So, it's probably about 15 pounds. Now I'm going to take my timing gear cover off. I just want to show you guys what this impact do gun does on the um, rusty bolts. <laughs> I like how the anvil is a little bit loose and shaky, so the bolt kind of flies off. Let's see if I can get to this one. Oh, no, need a wrench for that one. But yeah, pretty good impact gun. Here's a big one. <laughs> By big, I mean long. Shut up. Freaking leaky hose. So yeah, I'm going to get this off the rest of She's looking pretty in there. Hasn't ever skipped the tooth. <laughs> uh, yep. You know what I just thought about? I think that what happened was is this truck was sunk. Possibly. And that can keeps popping in the back of my truck. What the freak? But it was sunk. And they had to do the intake, take the intake off. But they haven't either, ever finagled with the motor itself. And uh, that was just like out of bad luck or something. Maybe a, uh, maybe part of the fact that the, there was water lock or something. I just don't know. I, I will never know. <laughs> I can't really, uh, I'm not going to guess. I mean, I know that I'm going to rebuild it and it's going to look like it was new. <laughs> That's all I know. So, uh, yeah, get that gear off however I do that. I don't want you guys to see me because it's going to be ridiculous. Because I don't know what the hell that is. So, yeah. This is plastic. Metal, plastic, metal, plastic. There's a reason for that. What happens if a valve gets stuck? They try to make it to where that'll go out and not your valve. That bit isn't big enough to go around it. Oh, it's my lucky day, isn't it? I don't know how I'm going to get that off. I feel like if I hook the tractor up to it, there's a, about a 80% chance of it coming off. But there's also that other chance that this probably bigger than 80 percent which doesn't make sense at all so what am i saying that the engine is going to come off the jack stands that's why i'm not going to try it because this engine is huge it's a big hunk of steel so i am not going to do that but i am going to see if i can pry it off fail didn't work trying this instead Almost out of recording space, but I can pull this off. A little bit of homemade ingenuity. Turn this up. 